by his nail pierced hands we're free by his blood we're washed clean now we have the victory the curse of sin is broken jesus overcame it all
for dying on the cross for us. We bless you, amazing God. Amazing God, amazing God, you do mind blowing things. Amazing God, you do mind blowing things. Amazing. For a miracle right now, I just want you to just know that He's willing and able to do mind blowing things in your life. So just reach out and trust Him. He's willing and able. He loves you more than anything. He'll do a mind blowing thing. Because He's an amazing, amazing God. He does mind blowing things all the time. He's an amazing. Thank you so much. And that was a breathtaking song. I mean, it was a beautiful performance. Thank you Thank so you. much, Thank Lily so Perez. It is so good to have you here today. And happy Easter to everyone. Happy Good Friday, if there is anything like that. And yes, yeah, so we wish you the very best. We just start in the show and we are giving you an awesome one as always. Welcome to Entertainment Splash. My name is Honey Potts. We'll go on this break and we will be back with Lily Perez. Yes, as I told you earlier, we are joined by acclaimed Nigerian gospel singer, Lily Perez. Welcome once again. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for that performance. I mean, oh, I can't stop you. thanking you because, you know, it took me out of, you know, the ordinary and I went to the supernatural world. And I must say, yes. <laughs> and somebody says, honey, boss, you look like a church girl today. Like, yes, I'm a church girl. Hallelujah, somebody. Okay. <laughs> so I know that you are married to a music, gospel music producer. Not gospel music producer. 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 Yeah. Like, okay, he's a producer he's as a producer. whole. Like, yeah, we're no. not going to box him like no, gospel. Like, okay, yeah. interesting stuff. So now I know that you constantly work with him and yeah. I'm wondering how is it working with your husband constantly mm, okay um, people usually think um, a wife of a producer you know has things very easy because you get to go to the studio whenever you want uh, well it has its <laughs> I say downsides I don't want to be negative but <laughs> yeah it can be difficult you know um, but it's it's really beautiful because he understands you know everything and then I can wake up in the middle of the night I just get a song and then I head to the studio and then we work but you know when you're working with your husband and you're in the studio and then you're, you you know how you want your song to go and then he tells you I want it to be this way sometimes you need to sometimes I think um, forget to draw the balance between 
the producer and the husband. Mm -hmm. you know, so he's the head of the home. But in the studio, I'm the artist. I'm supposed to be the boss. Your work. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yes, well, it's been beautiful. He's very supportive. I'm okay, really so thankful. the artist is supposed to be the boss? Yes, Did I hear yes, that? Yes, it's your, it's your music. It's also the boss in the studio. You tell them, this is how I want it. And then people come up with, you know, contributions. And, you know, where it's like... Uh. <laughs> beautiful. So now yeah. you know that so we can't but talk about the fire incident. Yeah. I really want to know what happened. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's, please it's, go it's, ahead. It's, it's a testimony, and I'm just really grateful to God. So it was about a year last, a year ago, um, it was in February. You know, I got home on Wednesday. I decided to get ready to go for church, um, go to church, and I had um, a son who was just a little over a year at the time at home, you know, with my help. And um, I just remember smelling something like, you know, something was burning, a funny smell. And I got into the kitchen, and there was fire. You know, apparently my help had forgotten to turn the gas off. I don't know how it happened, but there was fire in the kitchen. And I was just thinking at the time, I have a son at home. My husband wasn't at home at that time. I tried putting it out and everything happened in split seconds. I just realized I was on fire. Wow. Yes. And then you, you watch things like that in movies and you're even saying, ah, this person, you should do this, jump out of the window, do that, do this. But when, it, when you're faced with that kind of situation, like really, it's a really different ball game. And, um, the crazy part is that I had a weave on, oh, wow. not a wig. It was a wig, you know, I'll just pick, I'll yeah, just fling it. So it and it was, yeah, and the next thing, you know, I found out my, my hair was on fire. My hand, you know, it was crazy. It was, you know, it was on fire. I'm and so then my leg, you know. That. So in split seconds, I was talking to God. I was like, God, you know, I'm serving you. This cannot happen right now. And I could hear fear, spirit of fear, which I know is the devil, because God has not given us spirit of fear. He was basically telling me, even if you're not going to die, you're going to be def um, seriously deformed by the time, you know, this fire comes, you, finishes with you, no one will recognize you. And I know sometimes it sounds cliche when people say, I don't know how this thing happened, God did it, God saved me. But of a truth, I can't lie, God saved me because I don't know how the fire was put out. When people tell me, what did you do? You know, and people are trying to tell me, you, you must have done this. You know, I'm telling you, I, I didn't do anything. You know, people came, some neighbors came around, they had seen the fire and everybody came and Everybody could not understand and people just kept telling me, God, it's God. I, when, when I came out of the house, um, of the kitchen actually, I, I suddenly remembered that my hair was on fire and I, and I ran my hand through my hair and it was just like pieces and I was like, no, nothing. It didn't even touch a strand of hair on my head. Wow. My face wasn't burned. I don't know how God did it. He saved my family, he saved the neighbors and everybody. And um, I had to go through treatment, undergo treatment for months. I couldn't really go out because my skin was open and doctor wanted to prevent um, infection. Yeah. You know? mm. So God is oh, just wow. grateful. Gosh, I'm so sorry about that, but we're very happy and we thank life. God for your life. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay, so I know that you did your new song, That Is Amazing God, and yes. that's the second one you did, and I really loved it. Thank okay, you. and I know that it's an inspiring one. It's about this fire incident, yes. right? Yes. You want is. to talk about the video? Yes. Um, first of all, the song, um, I received the song because I, don't, I didn't like take a pen to write it. So I received the song in my sick bed. Um, I almost got into depression when you go through something like that you, you know and i just switched into full gratitude mode that's how i overcame depression okay and while i was praising god the lyrics came amazing god you do mind-blowing things and i was like mind-blowing doesn't sound spiritual can't i say you do glorious things and then i could hear the spirit of god telling me what i did for you was it mind-blowing and i answered i was like yes that's that's what you should put in the song Wow. That's what, what impact do you want, you know, uh, to send to someone today or something or that word that you just have for someone today? Wow, well, I, I, I'm aware that a lot of people are going through challenges, depression, financial issues, relationships. And um, I just want someone, whoever is going through anything, to know that God cares. He loves you and you're his biggest deal. Mm -hmm. You're on his mind. And our God is not just able, but he's also willing. You know, there's a difference. He's also willing to do mind-blowing things and come through for you. You know, just receive him and um, accept his love. It's not complicated. It's a free gift. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. I want to say a very big thank you to you again, thank Lily you Paris, so for coming much. on the show today. It's been a beautiful time with you. Okay? Thank you so much.